Apple's iWatch could change everything for mobile payments. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Apple will reveal the next iPhone on Tuesday, and we're also expecting Apple to show off its smartwatch, which many are calling the iWatch. Multiple news outlets report that this new iPhone will have technology for mobile payments, and the Wall Street Journal reports that the iWatch will also have this ability with an NFC chip. It would be something where you can just tap your device to the register to pay instead of swiping your credit card. This is not a new concept for Android owners who could do this for years with Google Wallet on their phones. But the real game changer here is doing this with a watch. Forget the phone. The truth is it doesn't save you that much time to take out a phone than it does to take out a wallet. You're still having to pull out something from your pocket or purse. But smart watch payments are a different story. If Apple does this right, it actually would save time and make the process seamless when you simply extend your wrist forward to pay. That, my friends, is what will be the aha moment to using mobile payments. NFC tech can be used for other things too. What if you could unlock the front door to your home with a watch tap instead of fumbling with your keys when you're carrying groceries? Or pay for train tickets instantly when you hop aboard? Seeing a text message pop up and how far you walked, yeah, that's cute, but NFC payments will be the X factor that shows the worth of a smartwatch. But will people trust Apple with their credit cards when celebrities can't trust to have naked photos on iCloud? Apple has been criticized for its iCloud security, and to answer those critics, Apple CEO Tim Cook told the Wall Street Journal that changes are coming so that you will get an email alert and a push notification when someone's trying to upload your cloud data to a new device or change the password, or when a new computer logs into an account for the first time. Many of these celebrity accounts were compromised because hackers could guess their security questions. But back to smartwatches. Apple's iWatch will only be a game changer if you don't need to keep recharging it three times a day. So battery is going to be a big factor too, along with style. It's a challenge that's also faced by the new hero of the Android watches, the Moto 360. Motorola's smartwatch is now on sale for $250, but in our early time spent with it, the battery lasted about a day. It also looks pretty big on a thin wrist like mine. But according to the New York Times, Apple may be addressing that problem by creating two different sizes for its smartwatch. That's your tech news update. You can get a closer look at the Moto 360 and other smartwatches at CNET.com. And we'll be covering the Apple announcement live on Tuesday at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.